I'm getting bullied out here, Mike. I really am. I can't take this anymore. This is what YouTube comments do to me. <laughs> they make me. <sighs> this has happened, people. Oh, what the fuck is that? You guys see that? What does this do? Okay, then. My lousy attempts at facial hair, people. Shit's going down. If I lose my channel because of Drake, I'm gonna be pissed off. <laughs> there it is, people. It's all gone. There was nothing there to begin with. Yep. It had to happen, people. Look at this. See, there's not even any difference, so that's my, that was my attempt at it. Check the YouTubes, as Mike said. I still look like I got hit in the fucking face, man. Dr. Dre! Can I get a break from the cameras? No, because you were no, fucking... But... My man, how are you going to say give us a break from the cameras? And you were filming. Thanks <laughs> fucking giving, bro. With that's his entire family. Literally. Uh, You're putting the camera in front of their faces. No. No, you weren't. I'm just playing. All right, so that vlog, or the beginning, of like where I shed my face, that was from yesterday, and I didn't really vlog at all because I was spending time with the familia. I think Matt's in the, Matt's in the shower, but we're gonna be doing, um, I think Matt's gonna have two challenge videos on his channel. Uh, I think one might be for today, one be for, might be for tomorrow. Go check that out. I know my boy Hitch has been on his grind. Dude, this, your channel's doing fantastic, huh? Yeah, dude. You guys gotta go check out his videos. Dude, I'm plugging you in every single day. Hey, man. This is why we're best friends. Debatable. <laughs> Debatable. No, dude, the hitch comes out of nowhere, right? And I'm just laying there on his bed, chilling out, fucking romantic shit, not really. And he just turns around, he's like, Pomage, I don't know if I love you or I fucking hate you. And I was just so devastated to hear that. I got Alan in here still. I actually picked up, I went I went to the mall yesterday, I picked up some, uh, picked up this tempur pillow, got it for free, which is cool as fuck, because I bought the bed, right? And... People are like, yo, why'd you, why would you waste money on a bed? You guys gotta realize, you're spending a third of your life sleeping, all right? And for, for people who play video games for a living, like I'm, I'm like slouching or I'm sitting down all day, ergonomically, it's smarter to get a new bed, all right? You are sleeping a third of your life, people. A third of your life sleeping on a bed. You want the best sleep you can get. Check this out, all right? I get a random text from, oh shit, I just forgot. Stalking me right there. I just forgot. All right. So last night I get a random text from my mom. She's like, "Are you here?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm here. Come outside. I got you something." And she got me a fucking Darth Vader. On a side note, I think it's about time. Everyone has their different stages in life when they get a new type of style of haircut. I've always just said fuck it to be honest, because I never really gave a shit. Nick over here was like, "Yo, Pomage, you could rock a fade or some shit." I don't know what the fuck a fade is. All right, not a lot of people in Canada do fades, or at least I, I've never cared. All right, I've just, I've just never been like that. So maybe it's around that time, this 19-year-old boy gets a new haircut. Maybe. Let me know if you guys, if you think I should. I mean, I gotta try something new. It's gotta happen eventually. If it's, if it's a bad haircut, then I guess um. I don't know if it's gonna be such a bad haircut, you know, cause it's gonna be like from a stylist and they'll know, but I'm scared of change for my hair. But it grows back, right, over time, so that's the only, that's the only thing. I can go the safe way and just fucking do the same shit I always fucking do, or I can let Nick, maniac, decide what goes on goes on here. He says I should get a fade. He's like, yo, you got that fade hair, bro. And I'm like, dude, what is that? Rubik's Cube. It's pretty nice. Getting getting somewhere here. I was inspired by the cube scene from Logic's new album. And uh, I'm learning it. I'm learning it. I can get I can get the cross up here. I can get the colors here. I can get the T. But after the T, I'm still trying to still getting used to like the algorithm or whatever to, to get the colors on certain spots, right? So corners only stay on corners. These only go here and here and here. And then these are, these never move. So it's like, I'm having trouble like getting this, which one? So this one's like blue and orange. I need, I'm having trouble like bringing the blue and orange from to there. No, the blue and orange needs to go there, right? And then this, the blue and orange here, that's in the right spot. 
Um, this is not in the right spot, so I need this to go up. I need this yellow one to go down. Yeah, so this yellow one needs to go here, I think. No. I don't fucking know. But I'll figure it out. As soon as I get this Rubik's Cube down, dude, I'm going to be addicted to these fucking things. Because, I don't know, I just, I've always liked puzzles and thinking things and thinking stuff. Because, you know, I just, I just like that type of stuff. So, as soon as I figure this thing out, there's definitely going to be a, bit, a video of me doing it. Because I want to, I want to learn it. It's going to take me some time. And I want to learn to get it, like, kind of quick. But I'll be able to do it. Because the last time I gave this a good attempt was, like, when I was 14. And I was absolutely, I was still just as stupid as I am now. But, with a little bit of brain development in the puberty, I believe I could do it. <laughs> Even though there's seven-year-old kids out there that can fucking do this in four seconds. So, I'm, st I'm just, I'm gonna let that be. Nick and I, we're going to Panera Bread. Like some, you know, like some two great friends. Yeah, like the best buddies we know. Like the best, and you want to open the door? Friend? That's so gutty. Yeah, people, I'm kidding, guys. That's not... I'm gonna get fucking flamed for that. Oh, maybe your hands. Watch this being a nice guy. My hands work full, but I, these internet comments Dude, they I, take everything out of it's context. It's a 50-50 chance of getting the right garage door open. No, it's not. Yeah. It's either this one or this it's one. It's the far left one. Out. Far left one. Yeah, and I always fuck it up. How do you manage that? You live here, bro. Don't ask why. Look at Ian's shitty car. <laughs> yep, I found him. Still Yep, they're still, uh, good to go. they're still great A headphones. That's all that matters. Which is actually good news, so there's not really, I don't know if there's, I don't know if we're doing much here today. I think we're just all on our grind. And you know what? It's, it's, I don't get it. Hector and Mike, they seem to bitch. Yeah, that's right. They seem to bitch about this kitchen being dirty. What the fuck is dirty here? This is, this is, this is clean as fuck. I don't see it. It's not clean. I guess there's those Portillo's things right there. Triple. I don't fucking know. That's about it. There's not, there's not, there isn't anything here that's specifically dirty. All right, oh shit, you guys wanna see something cool? Here, let me show you guys. All right. This thing's about to come alive. Let's take this little nut bag on a little ride, all right? Is it not like the coolest thing ever? I know there's like a life-size one. I just, I just love Star Wars. I can't wait for this fucking movie to come out. Oh shit! Hello. What are you looking at? Does he see me? <gasps> Yo. Oh, he's like, damn, that fool was ugly. Get away from me. See, I'm not even touching it. Oh. Anyway, guys, it's not really much here happening today at the Optic House. All the footage that you guys saw before is from around like three, like three days. Uh, just various occasions, just random stuff happening around the Optic House. And I swear, dude. Every time I wake up, I generally think I'm such a deep sleeper that somebody in this house is probably socking me right in the face because I look like I have black eyes every time I wake up. I just gotta get more sleep. But anyway, uh, back to the normal stuff t tomorrow. More live gameplays, Black Ops 3, Up the Scuff House fun, collaborations, back to all that. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video if you guys want more daily vlogs. Coming close to December, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, I'm I will see you, gorgeous faces. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. There's no one else in this room. There's no one. Look at this wall. This wall? I'm not talking about that wall. I'm talking about you, alright? You human being on the Sunday evening. Later.